Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Ranga Rao Karanam. A lot of times we hear this term called code duplication. Actually, having very less duplication is one of the important parts of the four principles of simple design. Why do you worry about code duplication? What it is and what are the best practices when it comes to code duplication? That's what we would be looking at in this specific video. Now, what is code duplication? When we have a large application, you would see that the same snippets of code repeat in multiple places. So the same 10 lines of code might be present in 10 different places. And that's what is called code duplication. Why is code duplication bad? The reason why code duplication is bad is because let's say there is a change in this pieces of code. Then what you need to do? Instead of modifying one place, you need to make the changes in 10 places. And there is a chance that the developer only changes eight places and does not change the other two places. And that's very bad, right? So you are introducing new bugs. So when you have code duplication, maintaining your code becomes very, very difficult. Now, how do you measure code duplication? One of the ways you can measure code duplication is by using Sonar. The other approach is to use a plugin or a tool called Simeon. And there are tools like copy paste detector and things like that. In Sonar, duplications are reported in the duplications at the bottom. So you can look at how much percentage of duplications do you have in your project. Here it's reporting that this project has 1.3% of duplications. Typically, you would have some amount of duplication in your code because maybe there's duplication in your data beans or there might be little amount of duplication that's always allowed. So typically, whenever we look at duplication, we would look at 5% as the standard. Any project which has less than 5% of duplication, that's awesome. The most important thing is to keep evaluating these duplications and trying and find ways of avoiding it. Let's look at one of the examples in here. I'm creating 1.3% going inside it. And let's pick up one of these files which is present in here. Let's say I'm going to pick up a simple file in here. And it says this file has about 20.5% of duplicated lines. And you can see that this is what is the duplicated block. So it says this line is duplicated. Click to see the duplicated blocks. And when I click it, it says, okay, synchronized statement tree and this switch statement tree IMPL and this parenthesized tree have these same pieces of code. So these three methods, the code for these three methods is repeated in all these files. And that is what duplication is all about. Now, the question is, how do you avoid code duplication, right? So the most basic solution is to have a super class, right? So if you are doing object-oriented programming, move this duplicated block of code to a method inside the super class and you can use it inside all the subclasses. That's one of the ways. Or the other option might be to create a utility class or a utility method. The thing is, there is no one solution. You need to evaluate it by situation. Look at the piece of code. See how you can avoid duplication in that specific situation. In this video, we talked about code duplication. We talked about the fact that code duplication results in defects. And therefore, you have to keep monitoring code duplication and keep reducing the code duplication inside your application. Code duplication is one of the biggest code smells one of the biggest pointers that your design is not really good. So if you'd see that your code duplication is very, very high, then it's pointer that your design of the application is not really good or your developers are not really worried about how they are designing stuff. It's a signal that there is a lot of copy paste going on inside your project. Code duplication of greater than 5% is a big warning signal that there are huge maintenance headaches coming in. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. 
You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python, and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular, and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design, and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.